I have said it once and I'll say it again. If you do not want your husband or your boyfriend to cheat, it's very simple what you need to do. Here are the five things, guys. Initiate intimacy. Don't make your man beg, okay? I mean, every day. Number two, make sure there is a home-cooked meal on the table. If you guys don't live together, that's fine. You could bring him over some food to his house. Number three, clean. Clean the house. Pop over to his house, surprise him, clean his house. Number four, do his laundry. It is such a easy thing to do and could go a long way. Number five, when he gets home, give him some peace and quiet. The last thing he wants is a chick that is nagging at him, complaining, asking him to do things that you know he's not gonna wanna do. So give him some peace and quiet. It's very simple, ladies. If you want to keep your man happy, do those five things. Problem solved. It's not complicated to keep a man happy, is it? But modern women don't focus on what they can give to their man. They just focus on what they can get from him. They want the man to do so many things and they don't want to do anything in return. The rules are simple but modern women still don't understand why they can't keep a man around. They're lost! All right, let me explain something. If my man doesn't like it, then I'm not doing it. Mm. Let me rewind. If my man does not like it, then I'm not doing it. <laughs> and I know some of the younger generation might be screaming right now, but hear me out. That's my man. That's my heart and soul, my best friend. He is my partner. We are in this together forever. And I don't know where it got lost, but your partner, spouse, husband, wife, they're supposed to be up here above almost everything else, including yourself. So I know that if he doesn't want me to do something, he has a good reason for it. And I know that he has my best interest at heart, just like I do for him. So I can be independent, opinionated, and be my own woman while still respecting and listening to my man. That's all there is to it. This makes perfect sense, but modern women don't seem to understand this. They want to go out and dress how they want and do anything they want regardless of what their man thinks, and if he doesn't agree, they call him insecure. The truth is, those 304s have no respect for their partners, and because they don't respect their partners, they don't love them either. If they did, they would take on board what their partner has to say. That's exactly right. I'm probably gonna lose some followers over this, and oh well. <laughs> My husband is right all of the time. Yeah, you heard me say it. He is right. All of the time. I don't mean just like, oh, he was right about something small or this or that. No, he is right about everything. When I was talking about quitting my job back in November, December, and I was so against it, he talked me into it, basically. He was my voice of reason. He is always my voice of reason. That man knows better. He knows so much more than people give credit. It does not have to be anything big. It could be a small situation, but that man is always right all of the time. I don't hear any female saying that on this platform or any platform for that matter. They don't say it because they're too busy complaining about the patriarchy and being consumed with victim mindset. They want to be right all of the time and never want to take accountability for their mistakes. And honestly, a lot of women that say, oh my God, I'm right all the time and my husband's always wrong. That's disturbing to me. That's a weird, a weird energy to have. Your husband is a smart man. You might not think that. He's a smart guy. Give him more credit. Let your husband have an opinion. 
Is that crazy? No, because he's a person too. I come to my husband for advice for everything because he is my husband and my teammate and my life partner and my ride or die because that man has a lot of really great values. He has a lot of really good life experiences. Granted, he's 32 year old operator it's in the same area that he did that he grew up in, but he's been through a lot of stuff. And I take into account everything that that man has been through and everything that his heart and his mind have been through. Give your man more credit. It's a shame there are not more women like this because there would be more happier marriages and less divorces. It takes a particular relationship dynamic to make a marriage flourish and she seems to have done it perfectly. Congratulations.